alone in the shoe store. <laughs> and um, the co-worker that has been a sharp thorn in my side for months and everybody kept telling me she's there to perfect you, smile and take it. But I hope to God that now that she's not there, that the Lord may have perfected me and that I will not have to go through any more like that. I want to thank the Lord for that. I feel peace of mind. Thank you, <laughs> thank you Jesus. And I spent the day blessing a lot of people and had the liberty to discount things or assist in here and there. And I found myself with just a couple of dollars in my pocket and I went throughout the whole day and I said, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to take it. How am I going to make it with a couple of dollars in my pocket? Yeah. Work tomorrow and everything. And about 3.30, 3.40, I looked up from behind the desk and I saw an old friend of mine that's here from Jamaica. Somebody had gone to school with in Jamaica and had been living in Canada. He not only came to Bradenton for a while, he came to visit me and he gave me a monetary gift. And he gave me a full tank of gas and I'm thinking, what? You don't know that I have this need, and I'm thinking, thank God. Look how we sent somebody to bless me. I want to thank the Lord for that. Praise God. All knowing, all faithful Lord and Savior. Thank you, Jesus. The pleasure of just having the company, much less the blessing to go with it. I feel good, and I want to thank the Lord. And I want to thank you, church.